it's time for another bug compilation. I think we can all agree that Valve has done a pretty good job with Panorama, and have already patched countless bugs with it. But some remain. Perhaps the most game-breaking of these is one discovered by Psycho Pitcher on Reddit. It didn't gain much traction there, but I saw it. He discovered that having the scoreboard up on screen reduces your frame rate, and correctly assumed that this gets worse the more rounds that go by. I was able to recreate this by visiting a retake server that was on like round 200. Loading the scoreboard dropped the frame rate massively, as you can see here. I'd like to think that I could work out why, but I'm happy just to point this out and to let Valve do all the hard work. A bug that map makers may have noticed is when building nav meshes for new maps. Bots need this to learn how to play a map. Previously, a notification would pop up informing players that the nav mesh was being built, but this seems to have been forgotten for Panorama, so instead the game slows down until it's done, without telling you why. Please Valve, add back the building nav mesh pop up. This one I covered a few videos ago. CL Draw HUD 0 should hide all of the HUD, but bomb and hostage icons remain, if applicable to the game mode being played. These should be hidden. This isn't something that I've ever used, but there's a simplified HUD option in CSGO that removes some of the elements. Here was how default and simplified compared in scale form. Note the highlighted ammo bit. Now, let's compare these two again, but in panorama this time. Default, simplified. CSGO feedback has spotted that, since panorama, simplified no longer removes the bullets just here. And he'd like for it to. It is the simplified option after all. These are the problems that people have sent to me, but it has also come to my attention that Evade has been compiling bugs that remain with Panorama, and he has far more than I've just covered here. You can find a list of them linked to in the description of this video. Now I understand that UI bugs can be a little dry, so now I'll move on to some of the other bugs that I've been sent. Let's find some really minor problems with maps, shall we? James the Batman found some floating wood on overpass here, letting you see through something that probably wasn't intended. And although it doesn't affect gameplay, there are a few problems with dust too. Come out from CT spawn, walk up the slope, and you can see the sky quite easily under the curb here. After spotting that, I was like, hmm, I wonder if I could find any more. And seconds after, I found this one at long A as well. At this point, I was worried to look any further in case I found more. But I looked anyway, and almost immediately found another bit of sky under the curb here, looking out of the double doors towards T spawn. While we're on the topic of nitpicky bits and levels, Nils Lorund found this phantom clip brush sticking out of the railing on canals. As you walk up, your vision jolts. This one reminds me of that bit that terrorised us for years near the T-spawn of train. When it comes to bugs in CSGO, mentioning ladders is almost cheating. But check out this one on Mirage. Making the clip brushes visible reveals this monstrosity. It's a massive sloped ladder brush with a flat top. This lets you stand above the ladder in the air, where you're able to move back and forth firing with standing levels of accuracy. If you head off to the side, then you'll be launched by the ladder brush, and poor Merry Man even managed to get stuck on it in the middle of a face-it match, which ultimately led to Team Flippy losing the round. Also on Mirage is a hole in kitchen, leading to the sky just here. Thanks for finding this, Horatio Nelson. Now I'll never be able to unsee it. I'm pleased that Ryan over on Twitter mentioned this one. There's a dodgy area portal on Inferno. It messes up whenever I decompile the map, but for him it did so during a proper game allowing him to see straight through a wall and into quad. I don't know how to recreate this bug in-game, but like I said, I have had problems with it before, so I think Valve should just get rid of this bit. It serves no purpose other than to swallow grenades and to break occasionally. And let's end with a serious bug that can be done anywhere, has been around forever, and has the potential to be game-breaking. Thanks to Tony Tony for giving me an example. It's about time I covered this in a video. All you need is a friend who doesn't mind you jumping on his head, setting fire to him, and then lobbing a smoke grenade at his face. The smoke will then spawn in the air. The fire continues, but more importantly, the smoke remains, obstructing the vision of anybody around it. This should let you hold the spot with ease, shooting at any feet that you see below the cloud. This is overpowered because, like I said, you can do it anywhere. All you need is a friend. A, a friend. 